Miro set the standard for collaboration with boards. And now with formats, users can innovate in structured experiences that are all built to support efficiency and productivity. It's a big deal. Let's take a closer look. There are a variety of ways to create a format in Miro. We can use the Create New button on the dashboard. We can click the plus button in the Spaces sidebar. Or finally, go to More Tools and add a format to an existing board as an object. Wait, a format on a board? Actually, yes. Formats are always objects on boards. Even when we create a format from the start, a new board is also created for that format to live on. Now that we know what formats are generally, how do they work? Each format has a focus mode, which is a full screen view with dedicated tools and optimized settings specific to that format. For instance, compare the focus mode of the slides format with the tables format. Pretty cool, right? You can set a focus mode as the default view of a board. And what does that mean? Well, when someone opens a board, the default view dictates what they see first. In this case, a document. So when a format represents maybe the final deliverable of a larger board, consider setting it as the default view so visitors know what to look at first. When you create a format from the dashboard or spaces, it's set as the default view automatically. If we return to Canvas, we see how the format looks as an object on the board. So we can utilize the full breadth of Miro's boards in concert with these rich objects, reducing context switching by bringing the unstructured and structured together. To go back into focus mode, click here on any format. Before we end, check this out. Let's copy this diagram format, go to a different board, and add it to this presentation we've built using the slides format. We'll have Miro make this a synced copy, which means if the diagram is updated at its source, it's updated everywhere. Nice. Go try it out and see how your work transforms. <laughs> <laughs>